What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. I usually don't cover news, but this is rather important. If you've ever used NiceHash and you're not using it right now, delete your account. TLDR, you have, if not you will, receive an email from NiceHash stating the following. If you have an account that's been inactive for more than six months on October 1st, 2024, they'll start charging you a monthly service fee for your inactive account. Check here to see how much it'll cost you. You can avoid these by buying hash rate, so using their service, using their service again, receiving a payout from mining with NiceHash, or receive a payment via NiceHash Pay as a verified merchant. So, if you're like me and you just have an old NiceHash account lying around from multiple years ago, it's time to go in and delete it. This email is garbage and it's so painfully obviously reflected on the NiceHash Reddit. A day ago, a user posted about this. Whether it's even legal, the answer is probably not. But I guess they'll just drain the account of whatever funds you have left and donate it. A mod on the NiceHash Reddit says they'll charge your account if it's been inactive for over six months and and to remain active, simply collect your miners, make a deposit, withdrawal, or make any transaction on their platform, such as buying their service. If I were you, or well, myself, with a NiceHash account, I'd probably just go in and delete it, which is pretty much exactly what everyone is doing on this post here, if not those who aren't even on this post who have just received this email as well. To figure out exactly how much they want to charge you, head across to their administrative costs section, which is linked in the email, and you'll see here, monthly service fee for inactive accounts. Scrolling down, the monthly fee is in Bitcoin instead of dollars. Interesting, let's convert this. Punching it into Google, well, would you look at that? It's a full $5.90 that they want to take from you a month if you're not going to be using their service. It's also super shady that this email came quite literally just 31 or 32 days before this actually takes effect, so you don't have much time to delete your account and or withdraw anything if there is anything left in it. So, for the second half of this video, how do you delete your NiceHash account? Well, head across to NiceHash.com slash my slash security slash settings, and inside of here, you'll need to sign in with your account. If you don't remember your details, check your email and search for NiceHash on all of your different email addresses. Then either sign in with Google or Apple if you signed in with these or use the forget your password function. It's been many years since I used this and I'm pretty sure even Linus Tech Tips will make a video on this as they previously advertised or worked with NiceHash in the past and this is just super shady. I'll try my Google sign in first. Yeah, that seemed to work. Now I can two-factor or reset my two-factor if it's missing. I think I've still got this saved. Let's see, let's see. Yes, I do. Perfect. Punching in my security code, logging in, we now get to your page over here. Everything that you have left in your balance will vanish when you delete your account. There's $4 left here. If it's enough, you can withdraw it and send it to a different Bitcoin address. I'd recommend doing this with every bit of fund that you have left in this account, as if you close it with funds, they'll either tell you no or they'll simply just close it and donate the rest to charity or nobody really knows. I don't even think I can withdraw under $5. Even if I can only send a few cents to myself and the rest goes to networking fees, that's better than leaving it with NiceHash. Okay, well, no, it doesn't seem like I can send anything. I'll just need to close my account and donate whatever's left, I suppose. Yeah, minimum is probably $5 or something. Anyways, this $4 is disappearing anyways. So, in order to delete your account, scroll down here, and at the very bottom you'll find Close your NiceHash account. I last used this three years ago. Close it. You'll see your amount is below the minimum withdrawal if you can't take it out. Next, we'll request an automatic deletion. We'll delete the data that we're not legally obliged to keep. And you won't be able to use NiceHash services after deletion. For more info, read our privacy policy. If your NiceHash wallet balance does not reach the minimum withdrawal amount according to our terms of service, and you confirm the request to delete your NiceHash account by selecting yes, you also acknowledge and affirm that you wish to renounce the remaining funds in your NiceHash wallet. NiceHash will donate these funds to the charity of its choosing. I'll confirm here, and after entering a code emailed to us, our account should be closed and shortly after deleted. Scummy move, NiceHash. I hope to see this appear in some kind of news, whether it's Linus Tech Tips or elsewhere. And of course, you'll receive an email address confirming that, yeah, you closed your account. As long as you see this in the email account that's registered with your NiceHash account, you're done here. Check the rest of your emails to see if you have any other accounts and that's that. I'll also leave a link to this Reddit page down below, as long as it doesn't get too toxic and vile, but I'm pretty sure the entire NiceHash community is going to be filled with this. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.